Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions. November 18th, 2021. I am your host, Coco Smooth. I know it's been a long time, folks. Um, sometimes, you know, life just kind of happens. Um, and a lot of five bad financial decisions. Um, with bad financial decisions means halt to certain things, and so... Yeah, I had to cease and desist, so you know my purchases for a little bit. And fortunately for me, you know I came up on some, 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 some cash, and uh, also uh, some things that I had pre-ordered finally came in, and you know now I have something to share. But for a little bit, I didn't have really much to share. <laughs> At any rate, yeah. So here we go. Um, yeah, this is an interesting thing that I'm about to share. Uh, obviously, you see the obvious first thing that I got going on here, and that's um, the KISS Walmart exclusive uh, Destroyer album set. Now, me and my partner in hunting normally, yeah, we, 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 we normally just pay scalper prices when we end up going to the swap meet and stuff right but because you know we were kiss fans we figured all right well we'll we'll, we'll go back to our old kind of <laughs> throwback hunting ways and uh yeah this is this and this is what we you know we were able to find a couple sets and he got me one all right but like it was unfruitful for the first night and man that sucked it was very demoralizing to see that there was absolutely none of these and these are cool because they glow in the dark um yeah and it's got you can see the album you got what these they look like they're supposed to be the kiss funko pop from you know the one sold individually but the problem the difference is these guys glow in the dark and they're sold as a set and as you can see the destroyer uh, album cover and the album i don't think the record actually plays but who knows it might <laughs> And yeah, it's kind of cool that it, uh, yeah, the, I, I I prefer to have the funk, this, this Funko Pop set like this. The only problem is, good luck trying to find it in any real mint condition. Now, the package in itself, it looks pretty good. Like if, if you were to take away the, the box and, you know, uh, the, the case that it's in is a, a hard, a hard case and it looks great. But, you know, the problem is when you're so used to seeing things boxed up the way they are, you know. Every little bit of mintiness, you know, ugh, you, you know I'm just one of those people that get very, <laughs> I, how, do, how do you say this? Just very concerned with mint levels. In this case, I don't mind. I, I, I plan on getting another one of these and hopefully in be much better condition. I went to my first Kiss concert this year and uh, it was a blast. And I'd like to commemorate that with another Funko Pop set that's in better shape and I'll gladly display this thing in my, you know, house somewhere. But man, yeah, this thing is great. Um, yeah, uh, even the box art and thing in the back looks pretty good. See what I mean? Kind of cool. And yeah, the it's a very hard. It's it's a they use a hard case, you know. So yeah, it's it's kind of cool. I like it. It's it's likened onto this kind of thing and it's even got a let's see if it'll show uh yeah it even says pop oop, on the <laughs> on the top kind of like that thing too so yeah made from a similar kind of thing kind of cool right all right now enough about kiss and on to other things um <clears throat> one of the things that i got is the mimic with the D20 included, pretty happy about this since I'm a Dungeons and Dragons fan. Well, a mimic is usually a treasure chest. In this case, the mimic they mimic the Funko Pop. Not that it was clever. <laughs> Comes with the D20. It's a GameStop exclusive. The mimic, and I think the dice is purple or blue. Something dark blue or purplish. Right? Either way, it looks great. Love it. Okay. And we'll keep to the Dungeons and Dragons theme real quick here. We got our guy Warduke 
Warduke's probably my most favorite of the early 80s things that I that I liked, you know, as a kid because they made a toy of this guy, him and uh, Strongheart and a bunch of, among other Dungeons and Dragons toys. I thought they were great. And yeah, this looks great. I love it. Easily one of my more favorite pops and dude, I, I, had, I couldn't help myself. I had to get multiples and it comes with his own blue D20. And last but not least of the Dungeons and Dragons, I got Tiamat or Tiamat. Um, yeah, he was in Dungeons and Dragons, the cartoon too. And you can see that he was the multi-headed evil dragon god. And yeah, look at him. Looks great. Though looks like all chromatic dragons, red dragon, middle, white evil dragon, acid dragon. Uh, escapes me what this one is, green dragon, <laughs> some sort. And um, yeah, the light, the, the word lightning comes out of this way, I believe. It's been a while, but either way, yeah, really cool. Evil headed dragon, you know, Tiamat. Heavy, heavy, heavy. So yeah, these were the... The Dungeons and Dragons ones that I got. These are easily the star of the show. Now the problem is, I was able to get protectors for the, the standard 6 inch uh, Dungeon Dragon, but P Tiamat, man, yeah, good luck with that. I hope somebody else is going to have to make a one of those. Hopefully Display Geek or Vaulted Vinyl. Somebody, please make me one. I want to protect all of my stuff. You know what I mean? And here is what our guy looks loose. Yeah. <laughs> Warduke. He looks so good in his shield. I usually have him in place of Hordak until they make a proper Hordak. Look at this. Look at this. It looks great. Ugh. Such a... Gorgeous isn't the right word, but... <laughs> but, yeah, what a good fig. Good looking fig. And of course, Tiamat. I have to get to Funko uh, Limited 21 Fall Edition. This thing is heavy. Or I just need to work out more. But yeah, this thing is heavy. And if I throw it at somebody, it's clearly going to get hurt. Clearly. And yeah, the details. This thing is so awesome. I love it. So have him. And they're both bad guys, so... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now they're both kind of chilling. And they come with their respective guys. Love it. Uh, this one, the Tiamat came with the green one. Looks kind of cool. It's translucent. Slime green kind of thing going on there. And this really awesome bluish thing. Uh, no, focus, Daniel san Focus. Yeah. Won't focus. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, cool. All right, on to the least the other pops that I was able to get. Uh, able to get Galadriel for real cheap. I was pretty happy about this because now I completed. This entire set. I got the Witch King, Galadriel, Legolas, Gimli, Boromir, and the Dunharo King. Now if I can only complete the rest of the other sets of the Lord of the Rings. But, you know, in due time. In due time. Um, yeah. And next, kind of a cool thing I got too. No Stripes. GameStop exclusive. Mendo. Mandalorian Death Watch. Um, yeah, he's more ex the more expensive between him and two stripes, no stripes. Um, so yeah, kind of cool. I cannot wait to finally put him in the wall with the rest of the Mandalorian stuff that I got. Next up, another Funko 21, 2021 exclusive Snake Face. Pretty excited about this too. Limited edition, 21 Fall Convention, Snake Face, yay. Retro Toys. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool. Oh, 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 oh. In case you didn't know. 
Yo ass better call somebody. <laughs> yes, I picked up doubles because I have a whole, whole slew set of Masters of the Universe Funko Pops and he has to hang out with the rest of the Snake Men. So yeah, that's what he looks like. I like the detail of the snakes over here. Yeah, this thing's pretty badass. So, you know, him and uh, if if there if nobody knew there was a brand to any of this other than them being just Funko Pops, this makes a great tandem right there. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> cool, love it. And last but not least, I was able to get Tarna from. Heavy Metal. I love, love, love this animated movie. It's probably up there. I can watch it all the gosh damn time based on just the soundtrack alone. Thing is so awesome. Um, yeah. Heavy Metal. You guys got to watch it. Got to. It's an 80s classic. If you guys haven't already watched it. I love it. Um, yeah, this was uh, sent to me by my boy, E, Mr. E, E, E. Thank you, sir. All right. That is all I have for this segment of Vaulted Vinyl. Oh, speaking of which, um, heavy metal is for adults. So kids, please do not watch heavy metal. <laughs> I know it's a cartoon and all, and it's animated, but it's kind of it's was one of those anomalies where uh, an American '80s animated thing was uh, not for kids. So, yeah. At any rate, that's all I have for this segment of vaulted vinyl therapy sessions. Even though I am, yeah, I use vaulted vinyl a lot. I meant to say vinyl therapy sessions. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you lay off for three weeks when you're broke for three weeks. <laughs> I am your host, Coco Smooth, and until next video, ciao.